<clears throat> it seems he suffered extreme lacerations to his chest and back. The swelling's gone down significantly, but boy's lucky to be alive. Does he need a transfusion? There was so much blood. Uh, I don't think so. Prism bore the brunt of the attack, Sheriff, and I think most of it was hers. <laughs> Why is this drunk guy dressed like a doctor? Oh my god, Paul, you scared the shit out of me. Well, well. <laughs> Welcome back, Paul. I'm uh, Dr. Henry Edwards. Tell me, do you remember anything Ow. from the accident? I mean, it, it's kind of fuzzy. I, I mean, I can remember playing tarot cards or something. God, this guy reeks. Oh, not to worry. It's just sterilizing alcohol. <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh, my head. Go on, it'll pass. Oh. It'll pass. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I remember Prism? The dead woman. Oh, she's dead. Better than dead. I conducted a thorough oh. examination, and it is my professional and expert opinion that she hid all of her most explosive fireworks behind her sharpest crystals. So. What? Very common with women her age. No, Artemis, this was an animal, okay? This was a werewolf. Shh, not the time. <sighs> Listen, Paul, your wounds are healing remarkably fast, but rest is key. A lolly! That's right, good boy. Uh, I trust you'll wrap that up nicely, right? If you need me, I'll be having a drink at the dead can... My office. My office. Oh. I don't think we should be ingesting anything that comes from that man. Which way to town hall? Keep going that way. End of the road. Nine people. I do hope we start soon. I, I do hate to be late. Yeah, it'll be fine as long as we get like a TGI Friday or something. I think we might. So what's on the docket today? God has taken this poor soul's voice, but perhaps with some prayer. Oh, he we... doesn't speak by choice. You know what, just, all right. Howdy, y'all. The meeting of the Connor Creek Town Council is called to order. Uh, before we get started, uh, we have a very special guest here today. Our mayor has decided to attend. So uh, we just have a, a small token of our appreciation that we'd like to show her. So come on. Great, great. You elected a dog as your mayor? It started out as a pretty funny joke, <laughs> but then we took it too far. Don't worry, she's more of a figurehead. The council makes most of the decisions. I would hope so. Oh, that was just heartwarming, all right. Okay, now the second order of business is... A blessing. Sit down, Reverend Stillwater. A moment of silence for the recently deceased then. Excellent. A prayer. Uh, well, moving on to official business. Uh, since the candidate Ryan Reynolds has recently been murdered, died, passed on, um, the other candidate for the empty town council seat has been left to run unopposed. And in accordance with local ordinance 2474, if no opposing candidate is present, there shall be no need for a vote. Uh, we therefore are happy, honored, delighted, required, to swear in Miss Truman Hensley to the new town council. Uh, Miss Hensley, would you like to say a few words before we do it? Uh, make it happen? Uh, 
commence? Thank you so much, Council Member Silver, for that eloquent introduction. When I first laid eyes upon Connor Creek two years ago... Ah! I knew that I had found a town like no other. Never in all my years had I met folks as hardworking yet warm, simple yet sophisticated. As a young girl, my father instilled in me our family's greatest creed. Above all else, never settle. And I see the spirit of my family here in you. As the backbone of our community, small businesses have worked to create a rich and thriving local culture. But that doesn't mean that we should scoff at the value of corporations entering our small economy. Let's bridge the divide between us. The way forward is together. And even though I find myself in the unfortunate position of winning this election as the result of tragedy, I feel extremely blessed that so many of you banded together in support of the Truman for Connor Creek campaign. Together, we will restore this town to its former glory and make the original founders and the Reynolds boy proud. No, 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 to heck with that. I grew up here and I dedicated my life to serving these folks. Don't pretend like you know us, okay? You don't. Okay? Mm hmm Then why don't you run in your brother's stead? Hmm? Sheriff Reynolds for town council. Okay, um... Okay! I'll be replacing my brother on the ballot. Tomorrow's election is back on. So, I'll see you at the polls. Oh, all right. Meeting ad adjourned. Paul! You look fit as a fiddle. Wanna help me open this? Oh, just in time to try my quiche. Or would you prefer raw steak? My diagnosis is you're a good boy. A hungry, hungry, good boy! Yeah. I'm a good boy. You want Lolly? You're all better. <laughs> I'm dead. Vote for me. Hey, vote for me. Hey, buddy. I'm dead. Vote for me. Vote for me. Vote for me. Vote for me. like I'm losing my mind, and also very hungry. Okay, um, I'll have Quinn bring you something to eat. <sighs> okay. I'm, 
um, pretty sure I did something real dumb. <sighs> Artie. Remember when car troubles were the worst of our problems? <sighs> Are we in over our heads? I'm gonna get a drink. I think I'm a werewolf now. Quinn, could I get an order of fries or something for Paul? Fries? Jeez, um, truffle fries with some sort of avocado aioli? Say magnifique. <laughs> Madison, I am so sorry for throwing you under the bus earlier. What? No way! You threw me on top of the bus, and I'm riding that all the way to victory. Are you sure this is the safest course of action? I mean, we don't know yet what happened to Ryan, and that same person may have targeted Prism. Artemis, I am the law of this town. I'm fully capable of investigating these murders and running a last-minute campaign for town council. Plus, I'm almost done with my victory speech. Madison, Minor Mole is backing Truman's campaign. When big money is involved, people get ruthless. I'm not sure if you've been up against anything like this before. You're right about that. She has it. Barkeep, can I get three flutes of your finest champagne? This town. Hmm. I bet you're pissed your puppet doesn't have a clean shot at the council anymore. Oh, on the contrary. We're actually looking forward to crushing you tomorrow. Soon we'll all just be drowning in silver. Oh, it's a pity that your brother couldn't be here to see the mining begin. What was his name? Uh, Brian? It was Bert. Bert Reynolds was my father. <laughs> and he taught my brother and me to stand up to bullies like you. Now, I'm not sure if you had anything to do with Ryan's death, but I swear to gosh, I'm gonna find out. And tomorrow, when the good people of this town vote me into office, it's gonna be that much easier. So you better go and pack up your bags and get the heck out of Connor Creek, cause you're fancy drinking, too clean cowboy boot wearing ass isn't wanted here. Damn. You know, I would say to smile more, but uh, I like this look on you. You too, actually. Little Miss Campaign Manager. So much for our impartial journalism. <laughs> I'm gonna get some fresh air. Oh, are you Terry Gross? <laughs> 